So you download some new music, you throw it into your DJ software with auto analyze on, and guess what? Your beat grids are a mess. Guys, it happens all the time. It is so frustrating. Luckily, there's a way to fix it. And today, I'm gonna show you how. So before we get into it, my name is Cadence and I just want to say welcome to everybody joining us. This is a channel we talk about everything nightlife and club DJing. Now let's open Record Box and get beat gritting. Okay guys, we're in Record Box. I've loaded up a track. I purposely set the beat grid and the BPM off so that we're, st we're starting with a mess. You never know what you're going to get when you import these tracks into the DJ software. Sometimes it's good, sometimes not so much. So first thing we want to do. We want to find the first beat of the track and set the beat grid to that first beat. So you can zoom in using your scroll wheel or you can use the plus and minus magnifying glasses over here. If you don't see them, you can collapse and expand that little menu bar using that arrow. Get as close as you can to that first beat and use this red and white stick looking thing to move the beat grid to that first beat. From there, we'll zoom back out and play the track. Now watch the beat grid compared to the beat of the song, and you're gonna judge whether the song is either too fast or too slow for the beat grid. Already four bars in, we can see that the beat grid is too slow. So we're gonna zoom in on the first beat of that bar and use the shrink and expand beat interval buttons to shift that beat grid. We're gonna shrink that beat grid to meet, to match the beat grid, I mean the beat of the song. You can see that the red is moving to the left. And once you have it right on, we're getting close. The track is probably at 120.00, but we're getting very close. And the way to check to see if you're good is you're gonna play through the song and see how it's starting to be a little off here. I think we went a little too much. You're going to play through the song and make sure that beat grid stays right on the beat the entire way. Again, and we can check all the way to the outro. Again, we still went a little too far, so we're going to expand the beat grid just a bit until it's right on 120. That's probably right. We're going to check all the way to the end, and it's good. Now your beat grid is correct and your beat is your BPM is correct. You're good to go. What I like to do is lock that in just in case you hit something on your DJ controller. You didn't mean to hit lock. This will go to the beat grid that you had it set at and you're done. Your beat grids are right. Your BPM is right and you're all set. Guys, that's it. That is how to analyze your music. Get those beat grids just right, lock them in. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it helped you, I would highly, highly appreciate it if you hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and hit the bell so you know when I'm coming out with another video. We'll see you next time.